Hey horror fans, once again it's the Horror Miser Money Gene. Today we're going to talk about Happy Death Day. Now, Happy Death Day is a 2017 American horror slasher film. It was directed by Christopher B. Landon, written by Scott Lobel. It stars Jessica Roth and Isabel Brassard. The film is produced by Jason Bloom's Blumhouse Productions. Now, we all know Blumhouse has produced some pretty good horror movies and also some pretty bad ones as well. Uh, basically, this is a very simple premise here. Uh, the main character, played by Jessica Ruff, she stars as a college student named Tree Good Good oh Boy Good Get Ben Getman. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, she is or the, the the day's her birthday the the today in the movie, and basically she gets killed, but she has to repeat the same day over and over again in order to find out who her killer is. And uh, stop him, stop that person from killing her so she can get out of this loop. So that's a very pretty e easy uh, premise here. Basically, it's a uh, Groundhog Day meets Scream, as uh, we have the slasher effect and the person living the same day uh, over and over again. As far as this character is concerned, every time when she gets killed, she's right back waking up in the dorm that she, uh, when she first, when the first day got started. Uh, though we've seen this gimmick done in other movies. I believe Marlon Wayans uh, did a gimmick uh, with the Groundhog Day effect in a comedy. Uh, this here is a horror movie, so um, we'll find out whether or not this works. So basically, uh, Tree wakes up in a dorm room. Uh, this person that she believes she slept, slept with uh, after a very hard night drinking, and then she goes about her day. And the day's her birthday. She gets ready to go to the party where she is murdered by a person wearing some type of a baby face. It's the act we find out is the school uh, mascot. Now, I'm not spoiling anything. We all seen this in the trailers. And then basically, she wakes up the next morning back in the same dorm room and repeating the same day over and over again. And we uh, find out every time when she dies or gets killed by the killer, she's right back waking up in the dorm. She realizes that in order to get out of this loop, she needs to find out who's trying to kill her and stop them from killing, and uh, hopefully uh, she can stop this from repeating. Now, can this type of uh, gimmick work in a slasher horror picture? Well, I'm about to tell you. Well, I was very entertained by this movie. I was very surprised how well the film was made and how well it was written, and definitely kudos has to go to Jessica Roth. She really brings it in this role. Uh, she does a very great job. Uh, playing the Bewerga tr tree as she has to repeat this over and over again and, and every time dying and waking back up in the dorm room. So you have to get kudos for her and kudos for Scott LeBeau for writing a very interesting uh, script. And a uh, great job for Christopher and Landon for directing, a, uh, for directing a very good, very simple film. Uh, there's really nothing really nothing uh, hard about it, but he keeps the pace going very well. Now, it does drag a little bit right around the second act, but it does keep the pacing well, and uh, we really we really actually care about this character character as she goes about trying to figure out, you know, what's going on, and we also, she also learns very viable lessons about herself as the day goes on, by the way. I also like the Carter character as well. He was a very sympathetic character. We also have the snooty, typical snotty um, sorority girl, Danielle. Uh, we also have that character as well. So I was very impressed. I was very pleased by this uh, slasher film. And again, like I said, kudos has to go for Jessica Ross because she really brings it. Now, keep in mind being that this is a PG-13 film, we really don't see any real gore in here. We see a little splatter of blood here and there. Uh, but that doesn't take away from the tension and the suspense and the entertainment that you get from this movie. Again, it's all due to Jessica Rose's performance and how the film was written and how it was directed. So I really I really was surprised about seeing this. Uh, so on my scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Happy Death Day an 8. So everyone, have you seen Happy Death Day? Uh, do you like it? Do you really think this is a pretty good movie, or do you think this is another bad PG-13 film? Uh, put your comments in the comment section below and let me know about it so we can talk about it. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very entertaining. I think it's a very good uh, addition to the Halloween horror genre, and I think 
you would love to watch this film during the 31 days of Halloween. I really enjoyed it. So that's my video for Happy Death Day. I hope you guys really enjoyed it as well. And I hope you guys go see it because I highly recommend that you go see this movie as well. Now, keep in mind, if this is your first time here, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, so you can like this video. Also, please subscribe so that way you become part of the horror experience along with me, the Horror Miser Honey G. Also, all my social media links will be in the description uh, below as well. I'm on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Letterboxd, and Instagram. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Miser Monty G, and always remember that horror rules.